It's about entering into a new kind of life that will transform you from the inside out in ways that you can't imagine if you'll simply open your life up to Him. And the way to enter that kingdom is to surrender. Die to doing your own thing and commit to living for God. Now, you may don't have any idea what that looks like. That's fine. But it starts with with a, a heart surrender. And then you walk in a different way. And if you're here this morning or listening in any other way and that's on your heart, just right where you're at, surrender. There's no magic to this. You just say, you know what? I'm going to turn my, my, the, driver, the, the driving wheel of my life over to Jesus Christ. And if you're in this congregation this morning and you're doing that, I want to encourage you. In fact, I implore you at the end of the service to come up here and talk to some of the folks that will be around this altar. Because that decision is utterly, utterly, utterly meaningless unless it starts to have consequences in how you actually live. And these folks will tell you how to begin to walk in a different way uh, where you're surrendered to Jesus Christ. Secondly, very briefly, I want us to entertain this question. Why do we do what we do? Why am I up here talking to you? What's my motivation? Why are you here listening to me? What's your motivation? Why do you live this way instead of that way? And I ask that, and the Holy Spirit helps us to be honest with ourselves right now, because that, has, that question has a way of flushing out any residue of religion we might have. If you've been raised in religion or been infected with religion, religion is a transmitted disease. If you've been contacted with it, it's sometimes hard to get free of. It's sometimes hard to get free of, and you find yourself falling into that. And, and it, it squelches the joy and the freedom and the liberty and the transformation of the kingdom. Why do you do what you do? And this isn't about a shaming thing or an indictment thing. That's a religious thing. No, this is about a kingdom thing. And just to acknowledge, if you find that your motivation isn't as it was for Paul, 2 Corinthians, the love of Christ compels us. If that's not your motivation, then this is what needs to happen. You die to the religion thing, and you just ask God to show you more clearly His beauty and His love and His grace and His mercy to win more of your heart over so that your reasons for doing the right thing are the right reasons. And that is because the life of God is flowing into you and flowing through you. Stand with me here as I close in this prayer. I want to ask the prayer team to come forward. They're opened. If you want to have any prayer for any reason, or if you surrendered your life to the king this morning, come forward and talk to them about that. But Lord, we pray that we go out of here with a freedom, not to do as we please, but a freedom to do as you please. Uh, Lord, we pray that your life, that transforming life, and joy and peace and power of the kingdom would be flowing into us and out of us. We pray, Lord God, that the chains of religion would be broken in our life and that we could go out as a bride who genuinely loves her heavenly groom and dances with her heavenly groom and is passionate about her heavenly groom and is learning how to do life uh, in league and in, in sync with her heavenly groom who has the joyfulness, the playfulness, the spontaneity and the freedom of a bride who's been truly set free from religion in Jesus' name and all God's people said. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Be free. Go out and build the kingdom.